Well, good morning. <laughs> I'm just readjusting my stuff here. We both okay? were like this, like, and we uh, heard the thing. And we're like, yeah. go. Hi. We were like, <laughs> I was talking to Tom Schmidt. We were doing this, and we're like, oh, the show's starting. Uh, we're here. Good morning. Welcome to Ozarks Fox AM. I'm Jeremy Rabe. I'm Maddie Conklin, and I'm awake today, and it's awesome. I'm glad you got rest. Although, I did. Maddie was not really anticipating thunder and lightning. I wasn't. Mm -mm. And I apologize to Tom Schmidt because he told us there was gonna that was gonna happen, and I was sitting on my couch, you know, doing whatever I was doing. I was like, thunder and lightning. I did not remember this being said today, but again, my brain was everywhere yesterday, so <laughs> that's what I'm using. It's my oh, cop out. <laughs> oh, the weather! The weather outside is frightful. frightful. Oh, my dear. It's still, still delightful. delightful. I, we won't go into Christmas, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, we no. haven't even gotten to official summer yet. No, cannot do it, will not do it. Uh, oh goodness, yeah, yesterday, uh, was it, I slept really hard last night because mm. you know when the alarm went off, I was like, like <gasps> but I had really, I don't remember them, but I remember dreaming really hard. Like vivid, like, yeah. but you can't remember no. them, yeah. But I was like, hey, at least I slept good, that's good. Yeah, I was in bed, I think by 8.30, so I was a little bit after, but I was, out like a light. That's so good. And oh, funny what? enough, I slept really hard too then because I could hear my alarm in my dream and in my dream I was like, what is that noise? Mm -hmm. Make it stop. And then I rolled over and I'm like, oh, it's time to get up. Oh my gosh, it's 3.15. I felt the same way this morning. Yeah. It's like, you know, when you hear it, but you don't hear it, but you hear it. But you hear it. Yeah. It's slowly creeping into your consciousness. Yeah. you come out of unconsciousness. Out of unconsciousness. <laughs> uh, quick update, I took my dogs back to the vet yesterday afternoon for checkups because yeah. you know, one of them, I didn't know this was a thing. Do you know this thing? They were trying to give my dog, Whitney Houston, a shot for a heartworm. And okay. her like blood pressure, she got so anxiety, they were afraid one of her eyeballs was gonna pop out. No. Ooh. Did Have not, you ever, I, had, I did not know that was a thing. I did not know either. Why, I thought because they were she's joking. like pushing? Like Yes, because, well she has one, one good eye and one bad eye. And the bad eye, I guess her numbers were so bad, the pressure was so much that <gasps> if she gets anxiety or gets stressed, it could, pop out. I didn't know that was a I thing. I didn't either, and that's so, actually really kind of scary. Yeah. And really sad. I gave her, I've been giving her eye drops, her and Buddy, eye drops every morning and night for the past two weeks. So luckily her numbers were down enough they could give her her heartworm shot yesterday. Okay. On the flip side, Buddy Holly, who is now completely blind, we're hoping these eye drops help him get some kind of just at least shadows. Yeah. Not yet, his numbers are good now, but I'm gonna keep doing the eye drops because I just want him to navigate. Like he keeps running into walls and chairs and me, you know. Yeah, I was gonna say um, our friend Georgia Kester. She said CBD pause. Remember, maybe. Oh yes. Maybe for, for Whitney. Celine. Whitney. It's Whitney. Whitney. Whitney has the weird eye situation. Oh okay. Yeah, I was gonna say maybe you get her some of that. Yes. You don't know. It's I'm so sorry hard. Sorry that your doggies are. I know. Getting so old. Well, it's so hard having geriatric dogs because I, I love them and they're so like, it's it's hard because you know you're with limited time but you want to make them as. Comfortable, comfortable and, and loved. Because the medicine for Celine Dion, who has issues, is not working, so we're just gonna try to get on a different medicine for her. Mm -hmm. I'm like, wow, guys, I love my babies, but it's hard. It's hard, it's hard work. <laughs> it's hard work. <laughs> oh, other than that, I had a good day yesterday? Yeah, absolutely. I, uh, well, went to Price Cutter because we're gonna make some real good food today. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, new breaking things. news, breaking news. How do we miss the lead? Maddie is gonna try her very first ever oh. Big Mac on the show today. Big news, huge. Oh. Big Mac on the show, Maddie's trying it. I am. And even bigger news, you got the little Big Mac side sauce packets, which are very new that Jesse Inman introduced a few weeks ago. Do you remember ago. that, Jesse? Uh -huh. Talking about that? I do. Guess what? I got the little packet. It looks like the oh. same packet as sweet and sour sauce or the barbecue. Yeah, look at that. Come on. So we have the sauce packets now. Well, they this look is cup. great. This is great. You might have to pop in from the newsroom while we're doing all this. Yeah, I might. I might. <laughs> have you had a Big Mac, um, though? I have not ever had a Big Mac. Wait, you've never That's had right. one either. I wasn't sure if it was Tom, Tom or you. It was me. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Tom, he gets Oh, them. yeah. Oh, are you well, kidding? You, you made this, yeah, yeah. I, I'm so, Jesse. Curious to see what you think about it. Well, oh, you're you more than welcome over. to try it. Welcome or required? Well, we a little bit of both. force you. Oh, <laughs> no, I'm going to force him. If I have to do it, he has to do oh, it. Man. I, I got the Big Mac. What we're going to do is reheat it for the segment. Oh, great. We're going to cut it in quarters. <laughs> I don't think that's going to sell it to him. I really don't think that's going to sell it to him. I, I Jesse, it to <laughs> you are judging our methods. Listen, it is 7.05 in the morning. They don't make yeah, Big Macs in the morning. They do, yeah, they there's do. There's nothing we can do. But the good news it's... is I got about 6 o'clock last night because I wanted to get it okay. you know, later in the day. Yeah. And I have two yeah. packets of uh -huh. the sauce. Mm -hmm. We can cut it in quarters. You can try it. You can try. It. It's up to you. If I may make a confession, I think my biggest fear about 
this whole Big Mac situation is that I'm gonna like it so much that I'm gonna start craving it. And then I'm actually gonna start going and getting them and we don't, that's a slippery slope to go down. Maybe a situation where you try this version and then you may think, you know, I just need to try hot off the presses. I know, and then um, I'm really yeah. like. Yeah. Somebody actually did say. In too deep. Uh -huh. So Maddie's trying her first Big Mac and you're gonna give her a reheated version of the Big Mac? <laughs> well, I mean. I Again, mean, like you said, the hand it's seven done. in the morning. Yeah. I mean, come on. I, I'm still hopeful. Maybe next time, uh, next time we do one of these, I could run and grab one because I don't think they do breakfast until like five, okay. maybe four, and I come in about three thirty. So maybe I can like swing in and grab one next time. Oh, maybe are they open like twenty four hours? I wait, know there are a couple of them. Maybe wait, the one. McDonald, but will they have a Big Mac at that point? I would think so. I don't know if they make them that early. I mean, if they are doing them, because like, like I said, I don't think they start breakfast until. So like four, maybe five o'clock. But so, I don't know. We'd have to so check because they used to do. Remember when they started doing that all-day breakfast thing, which I loved because I love an egg McMuffin yeah. mm -hmm. any time of day. Mm -hmm. yeah. But then the pandemic happened, and they did. Uh, anyway, we'll have to check. But that'd be great. Whole yeah. new world. We Whole new in. world. So, well, I'm curious to see how that goes. Uh, we'll be curious as we drag you in yeah. here, Jesse. Yeah, I'll pull you uh, in. Well, I mean, it's a, I don't know, something going on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, let me uh, switch gears for this story here. Okay, the weekend is officially over. The weekend. Like Saturday, the Sunday, or the artist? The artist. Okay, I was like, I know. It's the artist, why. yep, the artist who has gone by that moniker says he is officially retiring the name The Weekend, and he's gonna go by his given name, his real name, Abel Tesfaye, from now on. He's uh, also updating his social media accounts to reflect that change. Tesfaye says he wants to close that chapter on that part of his career and pursue some new challenges. Still wants to make music, though. Hopefully, because he's one of the top two or three most streamed artists in the world. And he's got an upcoming album, which is expected to be the last one bearing the weekend name. So the weekend, very popular artist, again, one of the most streamed artists in the world, and also had a great performance at the Super Bowl a few years back that people may remember. So interested to see how, the, how this changes. Maybe he opens up a little bit more personable. And if you remember, when he kind of like, when he first came out about a decade or so ago. Mm -hmm. He, uh, uh, The weekend obviously was the name, but he didn't show his face for uh, a, a couple of years. So it was oh, I didn't of, know that. It was kind of a mystery of mm. you know what he looked like, who yeah. he was. So there was a lot of speculation at that time. Like Sia. So yeah, yeah sort of like that. Yeah, it was, it was mm. like that situation. And I was gonna say, while this actually did shock me, I did not know this, mm. so way to beat me to well, pop culture news. <laughs> um, Bra Bruno Mars did that, kind of ish. He's now Silk Sonic with Anderson yes. Pack. Oh, Wait, what? He, yeah, he, he's been this Silk Sonic. He's been a member of Silk Sonic, which is with Anderson like Pack, and he's kind of oh, like left name. Bruno Mars. So he'd rather be in a sleeping. band now? I guess so. I mean, that's that's all I can really compare. But it Bruno to. Mars is not his real name either, though. Surely not. I don't think so. I don't think what? it is. And Peter, yeah, yeah. We had that. Uh, Peter Hoffington or something. We played it. Yeah, we played a game one time yeah. where we said you had to like give us multiple choice. You had to guess who the artist was based on their stage name or whatever, mm -hmm. some form yeah. of that. Guess the artist's real name, so. Peter Hernandez. Hernandez. Peter Hernandez, there you go. Wow. Like, here's what I've never understood too. Like changing your name for a stage name, I get that. Yeah. You're like a, a name name, but like The Weeknd. Mm -hmm. Like why didn't he just ever go by his real name? Because then you could show all those people in high school, look, I made it, ha <laughs> ha, remember my name? <laughs> true. <laughs> That's true. true. Just saying. That's true. But then again, maybe his team around him was like, Abel, Tesfaye, Tesfaye, I'm Abel. Like, maybe that's just not poppy enough, so you need The weekend. So people are like, well, who, what are you talking about? Who's The weekend? What's The weekend? It's Saturday, Sunday? No, it's a singer. Mm -hmm. See, I don't even... I don't know. Have you seen that, uh, I, I don't know, it wouldn't be a meme, I guess, maybe it would be, of, um, oh, who's the guy? Daniel Craig. Yes. Going, Ladies yes. and gentlemen, The weekend. It's, oh, yeah. When yes. he introduced him on SNL, and it's like, every time it's Friday, so, like people put that out, like yes. it's the weekend. You know? Oh, okay. They also That's do that with ladies and gentlemen, her. Do you remember oh, her? Oh, really? Yeah. They, yeah. Oh, okay. They do that with That's her, funny. and then they put really bad singers after it. Oh. <laughs> That's a fun oh. trend. It's good TikTok trend. That's a fun trend, yeah. for sure. Uh, now let's uh, dial it back locally here. A uh, bit of a local story for you, featuring a popular group from right here in the Ozarks. The Mansion Theater for the Performing Arts has announced an exciting collaboration one night only in August. The Ozark Mountain Daredevils will be joined on stage by members of the Springfield Symphony Orchestra. Oh. John Dillon, the founding partner of the Daredevils, and says that they've been fortunate to share their music all over the world, 
for 51 years. So here are the details here. Saturday, August 19th. That show set for 7.30. Tickets on sale this Friday. You can buy yours uh, on the link on our website, ozarksfirst.com. But I know we've done a lot of stories over the years with the Ozark Mountain Daredevils. Jeremy, have you ever gotten the chance to meet the Daredevils yourself? I actually went to their show last year at Juanita K. Hammonds. It oh, was cool. the Symphony and the Ozark Mountain, Dare oh, nice. Ozark Mountain Daredevils. They, that was their first collab ever. Nice. So they're doing it again. And they're here. doing it again in Branson now, which is great if you couldn't That's come cool. up to. And it was amazing because I love the Symphony uh -huh. and I love that music. And then together, it's just the weirdest, best collab you can think of because it's like <laughs> all your senses are on overload. Like yeah. it was a yeah. really great show. Yeah, you got really like, great. I was saying earlier, I think when they get together, it seems like all the violins will turn into fiddles. Yes. It's just kind of, they're different instruments now, folks. And fun fact, right? I was talking to Kyle Wiley Pickett when they did it last year. The Springfield Symphony are such pros, they hardly need any rehearsal. One wow. of the Ozark Mountain, De Ozark Mountain Daredevil members mm -hmm. wrote all the arrangements, no gave it to the symphony, and they had like one night to practice and they did the concert on Saturday night. That's like ad-libbing for them. I was like, yeah. oh my oh. gosh. <laughs> Improv. Talent. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was a great show. I highly recommend it if anybody wants to. Yeah, there you go. See it. So I'm gonna have to. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, uh, Tom, feel like going to Branson to see the symphony and the Ozark Mountain Daredevils? Yeah, it does sound kind of interesting. It's a very fun show. Mm -hmm. I've been to a few of those, uh, Oklahoma City, their Philharmonic would have something similar to this. They'd have like a guest, different kind of instrumental kind of come in and Try to pair with the symphony, and it's it can be well done. It it's was great. amazing. It's mm. Highly recommend. Yeah, getting all the strings and the, the woodwinds and such. Yeah, yeah. then throwing a, a rock guitar, and you're good to go. Yeah.